Today we're at Galaxy Precision. We're going to be demonstrating an HS1RP. That's a Haas machine and the RP stands for rotating pallets. This machine also has through spindle coolant and flood coolant and it'll hold 24 tools in the magazine. So we're going to just take a quick glance and then we're going to run a cycle. So we'll just walk around the back side and we have a very large coolant tank. We have an auger, chip auger, that's very good condition, and the chip chute, which is also good condition. Now back here we have two coolant pumps. The one is the high pressure coolant that goes through the spindle, right through the tool. And that also has a filter on it and the other pump is the flood coolant. And so this machine also has a door on this side for access. We have uh, wash down so you can wash down in the, inside the machine with the coolant and the coolant will go back into the tank and we're going to show you the loading station. Now the loading station you're unloading the completed parts and loading the new parts to be machined in here while the machine is machining on the other pallet which makes it a very efficient machine. Now this pallet is in very good condition. This whole machine is very much functional and uh, we're selling it as being functional and you'll see that it is. Now next to the loading station we have we have some buttons here we have the cycle start, the feed hold, we have the emergency stop, pallet rotate, and then we also have the button which partially wore off but it says uh, pallet ready. So when you press that the machine will know that this pallet has been prepared for machining so that when the machine gets done machining the parts on the other pallet it will rotate the pallets uh, automatically and continue machining. Now we have the pause control which is a very good control, very easy to work with and we're going to be running the cycle here. Uh, we're going to show you the inside of the machine first. This is, uh, this is the other pallet and it's also very good condition. This is our way covers. Now our way covers might be a little bit dry. Uh, we've been running this machine until less than a week ago. Uh, they do make a little noise when they slide in and out fast, which is they're fully functional. There's nothing wrong with them. And here we have the spindle, the Cat 40 spindle. And we have just a couple of tools in here for demonstration. We have a milling cutter we have a drill and we have a tap and here's where the tools are stored and like I said it will hold up to 24 tools the inside of this machine which also has its own light is in very good condition and we're going to be running this thing in just a moment and we will be rotating not only the pallet but we will be rotating the pallets. Um, we'll be, this will rotate out, the other one will rotate in. Okay, let's get it going. Now it's going to first do a tool change, put the milling cutter in. Now the pallet is rotating. Now the milling cutter is going to come in, and if there was a part in here, This is for demonstration. You hear the slides are very quiet. And now, like I said, the weight covers do make a little bit of noise. Now the pallet just rotated. I didn't catch it there, but 
Now we're basically milling off another side of the part. And now we're going to be changing to the drill. And we're going to be we're going to be drilling. As you can hear, the spindle is is very quiet. The spindle has been replaced. And you see the holes, maybe you can't see the holes on the end of the drill, but there, the coolant would come right out of those holes. When you're programming, you can drill about three times as fast you know, as you normally could. process right now. Now it's going to be rotating the pallet. As you can see the whole door with the window in it rotates the pallet. And then in a moment here, we're going to be uh, running the same cycle through on the on this pallet. Changing tool right now. that pallet rotated. There's one degree indexing on that, I believe. As I said, the weight covers do make a little noise, yeah. but they are fully functional. Yeah. It's, not, it's not the machine. Now we're going to put the tap back in. This does have a rigid tapping. You can see they have a rigid tapping head for that tap. In there, the tool will not be going with the machine, but uh, this machine is very functional and you can put it right to work. And if you got any questions, we will answer any question you have. And again, uh, this machine is for sale and it is ready to go. The reason we're selling it, we're buying a new, brand new one. So, thank you very much for watching. And again, this machine is ready to go make good quality parts for you. Thanks again.